I say time to take a dip into the pool. Skinny dip. I mean, like, who's gonna steal our clothes? It's just us here. <laughs> there we go. Splash. And whole breath contest. Oh, hell yeah, we gonna walk on some hot coals, too. Play fair, girls. <laughs> They're holding each other's legs down. I see that. They're both good at holding their breath. Oh. Brick came up first, though. <laughs> Now, what about some sunbathing? I'm sure my girls are tired. They had a long couple of days. The art show, the bachelorette party, the wedding. This place is beautiful. The house is beautiful. The island is beautiful. This vacation is perfect. And now all the stress of the wedding is behind them. And at least now, Brittany can work on being cordial with her parents. So let's see. What should my girls do next? I brought a fire pit. Scorching hot. Fire walk. Huh, let's do something new. Woo! You can hear the fire roar on this fire pit. Okay. All right, let's do it. Ooh, okay. She's doing it. Oh, she did it, she did it. How's her feet feeling though? Soul survivor, okay. Come on, Lola, it's your turn. Yeah, it's hot, but you gotta do it too. Uh uh, hey! Ah, <laughs> uh, it was too hot for her. Let's uh, adjust it. Let's just bring it to hot instead of scorching. Come on, I know you can do it. It's not so bad now. Not so bad. There we go. You would think someone who has all those tattoos could take the heat. Anyway. Swim time, windsurfing. There we go, windsurfing around the island. And look how beautiful and crystal clear this water is. Hey, Lola. She's going all around the island, but she's having a good time though. Well, she's definitely gonna get some athletic skills while she swims. <laughs> having to take boats back to the island now. They meet each other on dry land. Well, day one of their honeymoon has gone pretty good. And she can't stop looking at her ring. <laughs> but now I think it's time for my girls to get back to the house. They really want to get in this hot tub. So I say we give my girls what they want. All right, come on, let's get back to the house. Now we're swimming to it. <laughs> it's almost 10 o'clock though. I can't believe the first day of their vacation is almost over already. She ran all the way in front of the house. She just wanted to show up her swimsuit. I know what you're thinking. God would do the same thing. I see you, girl. Into the hot tub y'all go. Finally, now they're getting that dip in the hot tub they wanted. Hot tub makeout. Never woohooed in the hot tub. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, now it's almost midnight. I think it's definitely time for my girls to hit the sack. Come on, ladies. Time to get on out. So here's the closest bathroom to their room. I don't know what bed to put them to sleep in. I'm guessing this is the one that has the best energy on it. Tomorrow, we'll probably go to some new places, do some sightseeing, because I'm sure there's lots around here that are really pretty that we can go to besides this house. After that, I don't know. I might send them back home. They don't need to stay the whole three days. But we'll see about that later. We'll be back with them in the morning. Okay, guys. So we are back, and it's the next morning. So it's the last day of Lola and Brittany's honeymoon. So I want to get them up. They slept pretty good. They had a long day yesterday, though. Let's turn on all the lights. There we go. God, I, I love this beach house. Why can't we stay forever? Because we have things to do. We have lots of things to do. Um, I think Lo should make breakfast. Yes. Let's have her make breakfast today. Let's do waffles. Britt, I'm going to get her into the shower, into the bath. Because technically this is the modded vacation. They want us to like go to work. We are not going to work. Okay? We are on vacation. We are on honeymoon. 
We will be going home in the afternoon, but we're not going to work. I'm not playing that. Oh, that's the wedding cake? Oh, that's right, because we still have wedding cake. Do we have leftovers? No, we don't. Okay. The light is almost too bright in this house. Let's change that to, like, normal. There we go. Well, normal don't look normal at all. But, okay, it was, it was better than what we had going on before. It was too bright. Okay, she finished taking her bath. Is there a computer in this rental house? Okay, if there is, she can do some work. Uh, I don't see one. Well, breath is almost ready. Let's move this to the side, though. Girl, we not going to work. You can call them and tell them we taking a day off. Calling in fake sick. There we go. That's good. So I do want them to enjoy this area a little bit more. Try to figure out what is there to do. Because it's not like Island Paradise. They can't just go scuba diving and all that kind of stuff. But I'm sure there's pretty places to go. Like, what is this? This is a park? Let's go to the park then. So when Brittany's done eating, they'll go to the park. Lola should be done eating already. She's playing on the guitar. She needs to go to the bathroom. And maybe wash her hands and brush her teeth. Because I don't think she has time for a full bath. But yeah, I didn't want to cut off their honeymoon like too short, but at the same time, like, there's not much for them to do here. Plus, we have so much exciting stuff to do when they get back home. Number one, our girls are going to move in their friend slash neighbor next door, because we're going to start working on the sperm donating and surrogacy. Um, I was going to have the ladies get pregnant like one at a time. Well, I think what I want to do, however, is I want the girls to be pregnant simultaneously. Wow, are we really running up a mountain? Why must all the things include running up mountains? However, we're here and it's beautiful. Um, they're trying to get her to, to go to work. We're going to call and fake sick as well because we're not playing that game. Uh, can't I call and fake sick or no? I'm not even home, so I guess I can't. Well, I'm not going to worry about it. When, when it's actually time to go, I'm just going to be like, nope. They said, sorry, you're sick. I hope you feel better. Like, oh, I feel better now that I don't have to go to work. Anyway, this place is nice. It's pretty. Even from far away, it's pretty. Like, look at it. Now, what is this over here? This is like a tree house, like a tree house hut. <gasps> Ooh, okay. I actually built a tree house type thing in The Sims 3. It did not look as nice as this, but it looked more rural because it was supposed to be like a shipwrecked type thing. It was an actual house. This is just an observatory, but it's still nice though. It would have been nicer if they had a place to woohoo up there. She got her sketch pad here. She got her sketch pad here. Why don't she sketch um Brittany? Can how do you ask them like can I sketch you? I thought you could be like, hey, can I sketch you? Yeah, ask to sketch nude. Let's see what she do. I mean, we're in love. We're married, so I don't think she would say no. Uh, oh. And she's a very good artist, so she should be able to do it well. When she said yes, she said yes. Can we go somewhere that's not here, though, to do it? Like, okay, she's gonna do it right there. Okay. Draw me like one of your French girls. She trying, she trying to like pose for real too. She thinks she's a real model. She's like, turn around, honey. Like, what are you grabbing? And why does your face look shocked to have it? You know what I'm saying? What, what's going on here? She's like, oh my God, what is this thing in my hand? Yeah, what is it? Is it a snake, a one-eyed snake? <laughs> she would be shocked then. <laughs> ah, they are too cute though. Is this sketch even coming out close to being good though? What the heck? Is there something coming out of her eyes? What is happening? Like, why pose news? That's not even a full body. That's just a head. Gotta admit, the hair kind of looks similar. I don't know what's going on with the eye, though. It looks like octopuses are crawling out her eye. Like squidding shooting out of them. Well, we did the painting. Okay, she's showing it to her. She likes it, I can already tell. But my goodness, what is it? It looks like Daria if Daria was demented. Oh wait, she is. La 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 la. She likes it. Guess what important? There's children here, by the way. You still naked. There we go. What? 
It sounds like there's lots of children in here, actually. Oh, that's people being romantic. Oh, that's cute. Well, wait, what just happened? You scared her? That was so mean. Rant about politics? Can we not rant? I, I know how political she gets. We're but can we not? We're supposed to be romantic. Let's let's go somewhere and take a nice picture together. Let's do that. Let's go to the top of like the observatory or something and take a nice picture together so people can see the beautiful spots we see on this vacation. Especially Brittany's parents. Let's really rub it in their face. <laughs> Seriously, she's like jumping all over. Wait, are we Robba, what? Everyone comes here to make out. They drop their baby on the floor to make out. This, well, you know what? This place is beautiful and it is romantic, but like, don't just drop your baby on the floor. Okay, we we are way way up here now. Um, we waiting for Lo to get up here. Lo taking the scenic route. We're gonna look through the looking glass. Apparently, we see anything good? I don't think so. We too far away to see anything real good. See, okay, there we go. Now we up here together. This place is so high that I can't even get level with them, unfortunately. But there they go. At least they got some time alone away from all the other happy couples. Like, damn, I, I came here so they could be, like, happy and have some alone time, and then everybody showed the hell on up. They can take pictures together. She can give her a massage. Well, you know what? It's getting later in the afternoon, and I would like to get them back home. Oh, but they're so cute. I just hope that they can maintain this happiness when they get back home. We already know they had a lot of crap going on back home. I hope they can keep this up. Let's see. Oh, they're so happy. Look at them. Unfortunately, though, it's time for them to head on back home. She seems excited, though, and I'm excited for them. Well, guys, the girls are already back home, and they're driving back to their house in Wanda. I really hope they had a decent time on their vacation, because things are about to get stressful. And life is about to change pretty quickly. Because as soon as we get back onto the house, we're going to go next door, get our neighbors to come stay with us for a bit, have them donate their sperm, some healthy sperm. Now, I don't know how long that's gonna take because this is all brand new for me and that's kind of why i wanted to get it started because according to the mod uh you could get some good sperm or some bad sperm and that may mean the pregnancy may go bad and i don't want that to happen uh it's late at night but our neighbors should be home so can we just go like now and be like hey neighbor need, need to borrow the good stuff we're gonna visit the lot with date. We're like, yeah, we're gonna go visit their house together. Like, this is a joint effort, cause they both gotta get pregnant. We're also going to adopt, so that's still a big deal. Like, we're gonna adopt, we're gonna be doing a surrogacy. It's about to get crazy, y'all. Oh, oh. oh, we're glad y'all awake, cause we definitely need to talk to at least one of you. In fact, I'm gonna let Lola go home, cause Lola is so tired. I'm gonna let go Lola go home, but I'm getting up in there. Don't worry, Lola. We're going to get him. We're going to get him for sure. Like, come on now. Y'all are best friends. Don't make us do this the hard way. Come on, friend. Where you at? Oh, I knew you was there. I knew you were. I'm going to do a hilarious greet with you. But you should just let me in, though. Is she running away? Well, then I don't got time for that heifer. Oh, she ran here to us. Okay. And now she's going to greet us. Oh, she's... Rain's a little, uh, rain's a little bit, you know. But we love her, though, because she's our good girlfriend. You know? So there he is. So we're going to spray him with fuzzy nectar. The bachelorette party been over. But okay. <laughs> I guess we're still celebrating. We don't need him to be our roomie. We need him to move in. Oh, you look weird when you change your clothes. No, I'm going to ask, can I spend the night just because I don't want him to kick us out before we get him to move in with us? Friendly hug. Ask to move in. There we go. We don't even need to keep telling the story. We'll just be like, okay, listen, you, you said you was going to give us a donation. We're calling on it now. 
But we need to have control of him to do it. So, yeah. Alright, so he's more of us. For now, Rain's gonna stay where she's at. There we go. Oh, that adds 6000 Well, we make sure he get his money back uh, when the time comes. So let's get over here. She just want to kiss her low. Uh, well, I'm going to let them all go to bed then. We're going to put our sleeping bag for Isaac when we get the chance. Because, yeah, we ain't got a bed for him. This studio is going to become the, the kid's bedroom. Okay? Don't worry. We just, we just got to get you a sleeping bag really quickly. Can I go into build and buy? Okay, there we go. So, let's get this sleeping bag. I know you're a very, very important guest, but you still gonna sleep in a sleeping bag. Sorry. You got nice things in your pocket. I'm gonna sell those, too. It don't matter no how. You know why? Because he's gonna get paid when he go donate his sperm. We're also gonna fix his phone for him. Anyway, I'm gonna let everyone go sleep. When we wake up in the morning, we definitely got some stuff to do. Okay, so the girls have gotten their rest. Lola's about to wake up any second, and apparently we got some mail, so let's check that. Oh, bills. Well, let's get to paying them. Uh, let's go park old Wanda now, and she can start breakfast. We want everybody eating, like, super, super healthy, because I think that he has to eat healthy so that he can make a good donation. You know what I'm talking about. Also, let's get him all cleaned up. I forgot how disgusting the house is. I thought we had a maid. She don't work today, though. She do work in two hours? I don't like that. She shouldn't have to. Well, I have her get the meal and pay the bill. She can start making breakfast, though, because she's going to have to eat. In fact, she shouldn't even make breakfast. Half the food in the house is spoiled. The house is disgusting. Do we have a maid? Because we need one. Maybe they'll tell us we don't gotta go. We shouldn't have to. We got married last night. Just came back from our honeymoon. It's not fair. And then she should play with the kicky ball to, like, help with her rebel influence after she come out that bathroom. Okay, he eating a hot dog, too, because all the food is spoiled. The house is nasty. Like, it's literally disgusting. This is an unfortunate turn of events. She's a vegetarian. She can't eat meat. It made her sick. Great. And she's going to work. Well, you know what? We need that money. She got change her work clothes. Number one, that's not her work outfit. She's also nauseous, and that's not my fault. I didn't mean for that to happen to her. He's looking at all the art in her house. He's having a great time doing it. Brittany needs to wake up because she's hungry and the house is filthy. Did we ever call the maid? Because we should have called the maid. It's nasty. She's probably going to come out of work and get sick, and that's going to annoy me. We have to remember, we can't be making, like, meat food. She'll get sick. I keep forgetting it, though. I keep forgetting she's a vegetarian, which is awful. Which is awful of me to forget. Especially when you have so many bills to pay. Now, he has something to eat. He's washed up. We gotta get him over to the hospital. Now, let's see. So, give vasectomy not on our watch. We need that good stuff. Donation services. Donate sperm. Now, let's hope he do this correctly and we get a good batch out of him. And he'll be paid for this as well. Um, we'll make sure that we buy him, like, a nice present of stuff in his pocket. And when he move out, he can take that with him. I thought she was following him. She was like, I'm going to make sure you do it right <laughs> for a second. Um, once she's done paying this bill, I'm going to let her wash up and stuff. But uh, this house is nasty, so we had to call services. We're going to call services first, actually. Because it's just gross. We may make him donate sperm a couple of times, too. Uh, made every day. Cleaning your house will be a pleasure. Great, because we need someone to definitely clean it. I know she wants to improve her writing for work. Well, how good is her writing? I think her writing's really good, actually. Yeah, her writing's really good. Um, then she could just have some fun, relax. Maybe watch some TV. Maybe watch the cooking channel. Pick up a cooking scale. He should be going. He's he's donating. He's making his donation. Oh, shoot. She left work to go throw up. Dang it, girl. You ruined everything. Lola, no. Why wouldn't you go back into work after you was finished throwing up? Get back in there, please. Oh, she in the shady part of town. Uh-oh. <laughs> this guy, he's almost done donating that sperm. I wonder if they'll tell us how good the samples are. 
Wait a minute, he only made $55 donating sperm? I mean, in real life, you get 20. So it's almost the right equivalency, but I was hoping for at least 200. Everything just seems to be exorbitant prices in The Sims 3. I was hoping we wouldn't match the real life prices. Dang it, repair woman Megan, you cannot have Brittany. She is spoken for. Now, tell us how good the sperm is. Oh, he can't donate again. Uh, it only says get vasectomy and uh, assist and arrange a surrogate pregnancy. There are no surrogate mothers at the time. Oh, okay. Um, but how do I know if the sperm is good, though? Because that's, that's important to me. Can I pick up the sperm, then? Had two times be impregnated. Donation service. Donate eggs. No, we're not doing that now. Oh, wait a minute. We could. Wait, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Would that be crazy if Lola donated her egg and we used Lola's egg and Isaac's sperm and then impregnated Brittany? Boom. Mind blown. We That's what we doing. But I think it would be amazing that Brittany could carry technically Lola and her baby. Because then the baby would have a part of Lola. I'm so excited for Lola to get out of work because I can't wait for her to go donate her egg. Ooh. Undefined. It don't matter what kind of baby. We, we just want to have a baby. Okay, 4,100. We, we doing it. See, it keeps saying get her pregnant. So I don't know if she's pregnant. 